And today on Brad's Bugs, I'm going to be looking at dragonflies. And now for the beginning. Hope you like that one guys no stunt is too large for you folks now today we are going to be looking up close and personal at the dragonfly let's do now, it i've got a special lens on this camera called a macro lens which is going to enable us to really get a good and in-depth look at the dragonfly nymph also the dragonfly exoskeleton that it sheds before it turns into a dragonfly so i hope you're going to stay tuned because you are going to see some really really good shots so let's get going. Woo! First things first, we're going to have to find dragonflies. So first, let's get deep down. Oh, is that one there? Yes, it is. Straight away, we've got ourselves a dragonfly larvae. Now, dragonflies they spend the dragonfly vast majority of their time underwater in this larvae stage, or known as a dragonfly nymph. And they'll shed their skin between 5 and 14 times. And when they do, they'll go like full Hulk mode for about an hour and then increase in size. But they've got to be really careful because that's when they're at the most vulnerable. So they have to wait for their skins to harden up again before they go to catch prey. And when they do catch prey, they've got their hinge like jaw that whammo shouts out, or not shouts out, flings out grabs their prey and brings it back in. They'll eat other dragonfly larvae, they're cannibals. They'll eat damsfly larvae, they'll eat tadpoles, uh, they'll even go for water boatmen, they'll even eat snails. I mean, these things really are apex predators when under the water. But they've also got to you know, mind out for things like fish and when they're young, mind out for, for the larger dragonfly nymphs. But these really are fantastic and they look like, they look like little aliens. I love them, I, I mean, I love them to bits. Now I think you'll agree, they are an absolutely, incredibly fascinating insect, uh, the dragonfly nymph. They are absolutely incredible. Now, for me to be able to show you what they look like after they hatch means I've got to get in the pond. So I've got my wellies, uh, make sure there's no creepy crawlies in them. When I lived in the jungles of Sao, back in Borneo, with my uncle, you had to check your shoes out every day. Because if you didn't, and like a millipede or something, you know, crawled in there and you stepped on it and you'd be manned down pretty quick. But I have seen a, a really nice uh, dragonfly nymph exoskeleton. I always have problems saying that. So I'm gonna get this out and I'm gonna show you. We can look into it in a little bit more uh, in depth with the macro lens so you can really get a good idea uh, of what it looks like in case you've never seen one before. Jeez. I did see a really nice, uh, oh, there it is, look. There it is. Look at that, that was a, I'm gonna take that off. Oh, there's another one over there. We really have got shed loads of these. Um, I'm gonna have a look, look at that nice damselfly there. See that damselfly? Let's see if we can get closer. Look, look at them. Now, I think you could agree that you could quite easily be mistaken for thinking that this is an alien. I mean, that exoskeleton is perfectly preserved. And I think this is what a dragonfly was for possibly up to three years, maybe more. You can see the hole in the back and that's where the dragonfly came out after calling up the reed. They really are an absolute fascinating creature. And you can see just by the head, the jaw, which can shoot out a third of its body length to catch its prey. Now, one thing I've got to give these fascinating creatures some respect for is the way that they just, they just coexist with humans. I mean, they don't give us any hassle. They're happy to just to land on us. I mean, check that out. Look at him just gripping there with his little, with his hairy little legs. Loving it. 
and there's obviously his back. That's where, you know, right down the bottom there. That's where they, uh, you know, get jiggy with it uh, uh, now and then. Uh, you know what I mean? Now, I really love their wings. Their wings are fantastic. They've got four wings and they can move independently from one another. And that gives them, you know, real... Oh, look at that. You see it shaking. That's where it's just kind of trying to warm itself up. Of course, insects are cold-blooded. And that means that they're, they're ready to to take off shortly and there's his legs look at that look at those two little grips at the base that what makes it be able to hang on to things so tough and they also can hold on to their prey once caught and look at those eyes we see trinomic red uh, red red blue and green three options these have 11 between 11 and 30 so what they see we just can't even comprehend they can even see ultraviolet light they have 30,000 facets so 30,000 little hexagons over their eyes they can almost see 360 degrees they're absolutely incredible another picture of their wings look at those in fact i found one the other day and it only had three wings so i don't know what happened to it This is a clear membrane between there. I mean, wow. I just can't get enough of these. Honestly, they're absolutely brilliant. 300 million years they've been about. 300 million years. It's incredible. It's incredible to think. These used to be about three foot long. Oh, there he goes. Look, cleaning his eyes. Needs to get those clean because, of course, he's got a lot of seeing to do. <laughs> yes, they used to be about three foot wide when there used to be a lot more oxygen in the air and in the uh, the sea back in the prehistoric times. That's it. Give him a clean, buddy. That's the female by the looks of it. This is a, oh, this is the three winged. Look at that. Look at how oh, beautiful she is. Just. Go on, three wings. Can you see? Look, there's only one wing on the far side. Go on, go on. <laughs> yes, go on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Sorry, just catching a few rays there. Bit of vitamin D. Thanks for tuning in today, Brad's Bugs. I hope you enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it myself.